Hey, today I'm gonna to show you how to tape angles on new construction using level five automatic taping tools. This is the way to go. If you're gonna tape angles, these will really get you a better job and a lot quicker. I'm gonna show you that next. All right, now we're going to walk you through what it takes to tape the angles, the inside angles. Some of you call them internals, corners, whatever you call them. It's this thing. I'm gonna show you how to do it with a level five bazooka and the, the corner tools. You got a corner roller and then you got a glazing head. Now I'm gonna show you more about these tools in separate videos, but basically what you have is the drywall bazooka, which I'm showing in other videos, but this is basically a tool that puts the mud on the tape, puts it into the angle, cuts it, feeds it. It kind of does everything for you except wipe out the excess mud. So the simple version is this tube is full of mud. And then we have a roll of 500 foot roll of joint tape down here. It feeds up through this slide. You have a slide tube right here that will feed the paper tape up but as soon as that feed comes up to here it now lets go of the tape you can see it can go either way when it's down here I can't pull down once it gets a hold of it because there's a little nail looking thing poking into the paper so up here it releases and it'll slide either way then it will cut it by pulling across like that and it cuts it by a little razor right inside of here and again i'll show you more about this in a detailed video about how to operate this but that's the gist of it and for taping these inside angles we also have this little flipper wheel here that flips out and pushes it into the inside angle it also works as kind of like a third hand you can just reach out at any time and push something to the wall like your paper tape. And then we have this tool which rolls it into the corner. You got roller wheels here and it squeezes out part of the mud because when it goes on there, it's really kind of sloppy. So this squares it up a little bit, squeezes out some of the mud and we're using these extendable handles. So I can use whatever length feels good and it works like that right there. Now I'm gonna put a link to all these tools and tool sets down below. If you're looking to buy one of these sets, I can get you 10% off or more. Just look in the description right below the video and you'll see how to do that, how to use the link and the discount code to use. But this other tool is the third and final tool. This is the one that makes it look super nice. And this is a flexible uh, angle head. Let's see if we can show on the close-up camera here. This pivots all around here. It basically snaps onto this head. It's got a clamping mechanism. That quick, it's on there, it doesn't come off. It flexes via these springs on the back. So we have springs in here and this allows it to flex into the corner. And then it holds the excess mud in here, has little rollers right here. These blades glaze off the excess mud and control it so it doesn't go outside and leave edges. And then this center part just kind of squares up the inside corner even more. It's pretty slick little tool. Now this is one of the more expensive tools, but you're gonna love this thing. So let's go ahead and tape this first angle. We're gonna tape this angle, this one, and this one. Then I can show you an inside corner also. So the first thing to know is watch my other video about everything about how to run this, but you gotta make sure that you release this lever here, which allows this to turn. 
the shaft in here which is connected to a cable and it pulls a piston up which forces the mud out the end as you roll it so you see this thing turning as i turn this wheel they turn together the mud starts coming out and puts it on the tape so we want to get a little bit going here and i'm just yeah i think it's it's got a little oil on it there because i just oiled it up so i'm gonna toss that first piece Okay, here we go. Now you see how, so you see how this works, this little wheel comes out as I pull the lever down here and it just pushes it in and gets that first little crease going. So now let's do this side. Now I came, I started a little short. I didn't put enough out there to start with. You can slide these shorter pieces like I just did there. So the next step is we get this out. Now it's usually a good idea to preload this, get a little mud in there. It just kind of works better to me. squeeze fairly firmly but you don't want to squeeze too much and you don't want to wait too long because it starts curling like this oh, get in there trying to do video and stop and reposition cameras i'm taking too long so all right you see how much we've got that squeezed out there i'm going to show you some close-ups of that so you can get a better view right and then we're going to go ahead and glaze it with this okay now we're going to go ahead and run this glazing head same thing i preloaded it with mud so we're going to put it up in here and we want that angle to be just like that right there just a little bit backwards and then just start pulling it Now you gotta go fairly quick with this tool. You really can't go slow. I tried to go slow for you guys and it's draggy. It's not the right way to go. So we're gonna come over here and do this one. And, and that's basically it. Now we are going to have to coat this just like we do the recess joints. It, it's going to leave it looking pretty good, but it shrinks, so we're still going to have to coat it. Now we got to do one more thing. You notice how up here in this corner, it's pretty messy because this can't get right into that three-way corner and do anything, so we're going to show you how to clean that up. Okay, first thing I want to show you is this six-inch knife. It's This corner right here is a 90 to about right there. That's why you don't want one that goes too far down. You don't want one that's not a 90. And that's because we're squaring up 90 degree corners and it'll work better. So we just want to put our knife up here. Usually I want to start with a little bit of mud on here just to make sure I've got enough. Put it up in here and just first wipe all three sides down. You're trying to wipe a little bit of that excess mud out. probably get in the way but then we just want to put a little bit of mud in there so that it's coated nicely and I'm shaking pretty bad because I'm my health issues <laughs> dang it and I'm trying to stand off to the side so you guys can see so I'm actually putting a decent little coat in the inside corner like that
Okay, that's basically it. We got to coat this whole thing again anyway, so I'm not trying to get that corner perfect either. Just mostly trying to clean it up, wipe out the excess mud out of it, and square it up a little bit. It still needs a little bit of work. We're just taping right now. You know, like I would also clean off little bits like that edge I left up there. Like where it spilled over a little bit, you could go through and just clean that up if you want and get ahead. It will sand off. When you're ready to coat it, you go through and do a light sanding of everything. Oh yeah, what mud did I use for this? Well, we're using taping mud. This is actually Westpac Blue Dot taping mud, but a lot of times we use um, USG all-purpose regular weight. Any, pretty much any regular weight all-purpose works great for this or taping mud. You can't even use plus three, USG plus three, a lightweight, as long as it says it's okay for taping. Now, the taping mud is gonna stick the best, the all-purpose, regular weight, the next best, and plus three, the next best, but they all should do the job. And if you like following this series and wanna learn more about taping and finishing drywall, we're gonna be showing you how to coat the joints, the angles, the nails, screws, so on. So be sure to subscribe, click that bell icon right next to it, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video and helping you out. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. And hey, this month, I want to give thanks to all of my Patreon supporters. You guys have been with me for a long time, some of you for years, and I really appreciate your support. Your support helps me put out more content like this. Thank you so much. Hey, you see these other things popping up here? These are clickable links. If any of those interest you, click on one. I'm sure it'll help you out. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care, everybody.